That guy sickens me. He controls half of the brothels in the city, doesn't pay us a dime, and then has the nerve to say he's ending crime in the city. Of course, I wouldn't give a damn about what he says, but him and his whores are trying to expand even into our territory. I have a feeling it's time to finish his political career. With the election such a long way off, we'll have to remove him physically. I don't know, boss. Haven't we seen enough violence for a while? I just have a strange feeling about this. Tommy, we're on the verge of running this town. He's the only thing that's standing in our way. You want him knocked off in public like Morello? In public, yeah. But not like Morello. Remember that knocking off a politician is messier than offing a gangster. We don't want anyone to implicate us. The speculation and fear will be enough for our purposes. So, uh, how are we gonna do it? Mr. Sewer has a rally today in a park on a little isle off Central Island. There's only one escape route over a small bridge, and normally it would be a problem, but Vincenzo has an idea. He took a regular army rifle and put a telescopic sight on it, so you should be able to hit him from a much greater distance. You won't even have to be on the island. Where then? You can get a beautiful view of him from Central Island, from the tower of the old abandoned prison on the north tip of the island. You'll have the whole park right in front of you. And with that rifle, it won't be difficult to take out your target without attracting too much attention. Well, that doesn't sound like a bad plan. Good. Talk to Vincenzo and get the rifle. Okay, boss. And remember, Tommy, you have to do it from a distance, and nobody must see you. You probably only get one shot at this. If you don't hit him immediately, they'll cover him and the job will be ruined. I got it, boss. That bastard is a typical example of today's politicians. They make and break the laws. It appears the greatest darkness is under the candlestick. But what weight can a law carry that is made to eliminate the frauds who thought of the scheme when they go and do exactly what they themselves have forbidden? I'll tell you what, none. It's like their own laws didn't even exist. I still gotta go to Vincenzo's to get a heater. Hey, t -t 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 Tom, I have this for you. It's a sensible, s -s spacious, and solid car. I think you 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 you'll like it. Yeah, and you, you, you can g g get into it real easy. Thanks, Ralphie. Hey, you got some heavy-duty gear for me, Vincenzo? You need to pick this guy off at a distance, right? So I dug out the best weapon for you. The military trains by mounting a sight on this standard rifle, similar to a hunting rifle. I got hold of a Mosin Nagant rifle. It's produced here, but the Russians upgraded it to a marksman's rifle. It's a good, precise weapon. It looks interesting. Well, I hope it works. Well, Tom, take a decent handgun, too. You never know who you might bump into. Ain't that the truth. Thanks.
mister. Can't commit here. We're working. What's going on? Watch it, he's coming for us. Oh. 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 
There you go. Yes. He's here! Me someone <laughs> die <laughs> too young to die.
Hello there. How you today? I just got out of jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real cute. Hey, but there ain't time for that now, Tommy. I need you to pick up a guy in the works quarter. But quick, hey, the cops are after him and he doesn't even know about it. Where? Well, you won't see anyone else walking around in a suit there, so you certainly won't miss him. But you gotta hurry before the cops get there or he's finished. Bring him here. Okay, I'm on my way. But I wasn't kidding about being in jail. Jump in. Lucas sent me. The cops are after you. I gotta take you to safety. Shit. How do they find me? And now, let's go back to Lucas.
up and Lucas. Hey, they figured out it was you. They know where you are, and I got wind that they'd be coming for you today. Thank God it worked out that way. I could be sitting on ice. No, no, thank Tom here. He stuck his neck out. Thanks, bud. I'll remember it. Glad to be of help. Okay, you sit down a while, huh? Me and Tom need to uh, work something out. Okay. Oh, Tommy, I have got something nice for you. 16-cylinder with custom bodywork. A collector's piece. And where will I find it? Uh, some playboy in Oak Hill's having a party today. There'll be loads of guests, and one of them has got exactly the car you are looking for. You open it the same as a regular V16, but otherwise it's more a work of art than a car. You'll know the place, and there'll be a lot of pricey cars parked there. Great, thanks for the tip.